हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द सेशंस ऑन इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर फाइनेंस नाउ वी आर इनटू द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ योर आईसीएआई स्टडी मटेरियल द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वेयर द होल फोकस इज ऑन द नेशनल इनकम सो द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ नेशनल इनकम वॉज कवर्ड इन द अर्लियर क्लासेस वेयर वी हैव कवर्ड यूनिट वन एज अ फॉलो अप ऑफ वॉट वी हैव लर्न in concept and determination of national income we will begin with the second unit in this class and this continues to be part of the national income determination but here we are focusing on one of the very very important historical theory that is generally considered as keynesian theory of income determination let me tell you one thing this is not about determining income of an individual or any individual business sector it is for the entire economy when i say for the entire economy taking nation's view point here it is still determination of national income so basically if you recollect what is the meaning of national income that you have learned in the first unit national income precisely is the net national product which is based on factor cost you remember nnp at factor cost net national product at factor cost which is termed as national income so if you just take a view point factors are earning their income and who is paying to the factors the business sector or the firms are paying to the factors of production that is generally rent wages interest profit these are the rewards for the factors of production the sum total of all this will be the net national product at factor cost so what keynes has done keynes has developed his theory into three different segments first by taking a two sector model then three sector model and then a four sector model so when it comes to two sector model keynes has just considered two sectors in the economy and that is the households and the business firms or simply the business sector so gradually as and when keynes has expanded the theory by including the third sector and fourth sector we will also have the discussion by expanding the economy and including one new component at every point of time so we are going to have the whole discussion split into three components first we will focus on the two sector model second on the three sector model and then lastly four sector model in fact uh, by the time we land up at four sector model you will uh, have more of you know self learning kind of thing over there because two sector model and three sector model will give you the rock solid platform to understand four sector model kind of something on your own so you will not have to struggle at all notes writing over here will be very very important this is little big topic and you have to keep lot of patience lot of calculative content you will be finding in this chapter and uh, not just very important this is actually very interesting and uh, this will require the background of the concepts that you have learnt in the first unit that was concept and determination of national income so you can consider this keynesian theory as just an extended part of our earlier discussions so what i am going to do is i am going to give you some important notes initially and i would want you to write those notes systematically and then with every component discussed further i am going to discuss every matter in detail as in when you proceed ahead and to remind you this is the second unit of the first chapter once you have written this heading let us move forward and under that you write a subheading as the keynesian theory of income determination is presented in three models first one is the two sector model consisting of the household and the business sectors then we have the three sector model consisting of household business and government sectors and the third one is the four sector model that is uh, consisting of household business government and foreign sectors let me explain one simple thing what exactly are we trying to do in this chapter that is keynesian theory of 
income determination what exactly are we trying to do you know uh, in an economy who all are present if you can visualize who all are present in an economy so there are lots of components in the economy but you cannot talk about all the components in one go so what has been done what keynes has actually done over here keynes has made that segmentation into three different models initially focusing only on a two sector model then gradually bringing government into picture making it a three sector model and then bringing the foreign operations into the picture making it a four sector model so it is all about the cumulative understanding that is why this theory is so important because it is a cumulative understanding if you don't follow the two sector model you will not be able to follow the three sector model and the four sector model anyway so let us try to first understand what is going to happen in a two sector model in a two sector model the two sectors which we are going to talk about will be business sector and household sector so what is the role of household so the factors of production particularly the labor is supplied from the household to the business and business in turn will pay to these factors of production so you know one thing land labor capital and enterprise are the four factors of production and the reward for each factor land will be paid rent labor will be paid wages capital will be paid interest and enterprise will be getting the share of profit so household will supply the factors and in turn the business sector which is consuming the services or the resources in the form of factors will reward these factors which will eventually become the expenditure for the business and income for the household now what will the business sector do with all these inputs the business sector will produce goods and services which will be consumed by the household sector and in turn the income that was earned by the factors of production which is income for the household that money will be spent in purchasing goods and services produced by the business sector so we are talking about two sectors correct one is the business sector one is the household sector what is being provided by which sector to the counter party try to understand the household sector is providing factors of production land labor capital enterprise to whom to the business sector business sector will reward each of these by making payment to these factors so that will be expense for the business sector but the income for the household then what will business sector do with these factors of production it will produce output in the form of goods and services these goods and services will then flow to the household sector because these goods and services have been fundamentally produced for the benefit of the household so that household can consume these goods and services and these goods and services will be paid for by the household so the factor income that was generated which became income for the household that will be spent on consumption of goods and services produced by the business sector this is how we are going to arrive at a circular flow of resources so there will be real flow where the resources will flow that is flow of factors from the household sector to the business sector and flow of goods and services from the business sector to the household sector then there will be money flow money flow will be what is the money flow from the business to household sector money flows from business to household sector that is by way of payment of all these factors of production that is rent wages interest and profit on the other side what will be the money flow from the side of household it will be the payment made by household to the business sector on account of consumption of goods and services produced by the business sector so let us do one thing let us quickly write up some notes over here so first thing that i want you all to write is concept of circular flow the circular flow of income is a process where 
द नेशनल इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ एन इकोनॉमी फ्लो इन अ सर्क्यूलर मैनर कंटिन्यूसली थ्रू टाइम सच दैट नेशनल इनकम बिकम्स इक्वल टू नेशनल एक्सपेंडिचर लेट अस मूव अहेड एंड नाउ व्हाट वी डू इज वी राइट अबाउट द सर्क्यूलर फ्लो ऑफ इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर इन अ टू सेक्टर इकोनॉमी और यू कैन कॉल इट एज अ टू सेक्टर मॉडल विच आर दीज टू सेक्टर्स ओवर हियर the first sector is the household and the second sector is firms or you can call it business sector so what is happening first of all from the household sector factor inputs are provided to the firms and then firms will be producing goods and services which will be providing as a output of the firms in the form of goods and services which will be consumed by the household so these dotted arrows which i have shown as a flow between the household and firms indicate the real flow and then there will be money flow firms will pay back to the household as a reward to all these factors so the factor inputs were given by the household to the firms and for each factor the firm will pay the factor income correct and that will be in the form of wages rent interest and profit so this will be basically considered as factor income and factor income becomes income for the household mind it when i say factor payments it is denoted as y throughout the keynesian theory of income determination this variable y will be used for income so keep that thing in your mind y will be used for income and then what will households do household will be paying for these goods and services to the firms so money flows from firms to household in the form of wages rent interest and profit and then the money will flow from household to the firms in the form of payments for consumption of goods and services that can be simply called as consumption expenditure and mark one thing consumption expenditure is denoted over here by c and uh, you are ready to move ahead let us first write some explanation about this the circular broken lines with arrows show factor and product flows and present real flows and the continuous line with arrows show money flows which are generated by real flows household owns all factors of production and supply all these factors to firm and get factor income whatever income they receive from firms is again paid to firms on purchase of goods and services business firms received all factors of production from the household and pay factor income to the household whatever amount they paid to household again received by them on sale of goods and services so this is the explanation to that same diagram that you have drawn some time back let us move ahead and now write something about factor payment which becomes the income for household and the household income becomes the source of expenditure because if the household is not generating income it will not be able to spend now with the household expenditure what will happen they will be purchasing that means household will be purchasing the goods and services that means they are paying for what the value of output and that output is produced by the firms and therefore the money goes back to the firms and we call this as total receipts of firms an economy can be said to be in equilibrium when the production plans of the firms and expenditure plans of the household match so national income is basically nothing but the net national product we have learned this in the earlier unit that national income basically means net national product at factor cost don't forget that net national product nnp at factor cost